Hi, what's your name? Hello, I'm Frédéric Richard from CasaBubble.com. And what is a Casa Bubble? Well, you know, basically the original idea was to give life to the old chai dream to sleep under the stars. But getting older, we thought that it was necessary to make it in better condition. So no more mosquitoes, breezy evening, etc. So we develop uh, this beautiful inflatable bubble in uh, fully transparent uh, uh, model or the half opaque or the most fully opaque for more privacy the other side. Okay, let's take a look. So, this one uh, display here are 13 uh, feet bubble. We do the, this bubble in 11 feet diameter, 13 feet diameter and for professionals like event planners, restaurant or uh, for corporate events we make 16, 20, 24 and 26 feet diameter. So let me show you how do you enter in, uh, in the bubble. First, the bubble, Stefan and, and me wanted the, the, the concept to be portable. So there is no structure in the bubble. It's only held in shape by a light inside, positive over pressure. You can't feel it when you're inside. It's like a beautiful anti-cyclone day uh, where they, there is no cloud in the sky. And uh, since uh, the pressure is kept inside, you need, like in a spaceship, an airlock vestibule with two doors. The idea is to open the first door, close it behind you, and then you open the second one and you enter. Let me show you. So before, I will show you before entering in this little uh, SAS airlock vestibule make like in a spaceship. Let me show you the blowers to energize and inflate the bubbles. So we develop very silent blowers. Uh, first, they, they are very silent because the concept is to sleep uh, in the middle of nowhere uh, with a, a minimum of noise. So what you hear is absolutely not the engine, but just the flow of air going through the, the bubble. And second, very important information, the uh, power required by the blowers is going from 55 watts to 95 watts, like a simple electric bulb, so it's very easy to energize. The, the most easy way, easiest way is to plug it on an electrical uh, socket. You can energize the bubble with solar panels, windmill, car batteries for a few hours, or a, um, a mix of all these uh, solutions. Let me show you. Great. So this is the airlock vestibule. So the idea, as I told you, is to open the first door, close it behind you, to keep the pressure. And then you open the second door and you enter in the 23rd century. So you can... And there's no need to close that. Absolutely. Because the other no, one is already closed. As long as one of the two doors remain closed, you can keep the other one. And you can set up a dressing room over there where you can put some curtains to hide the shelves and let your little messy st uh, stuff over there. So this is basically uh, the transparent, fully transparent bubble. So as you can set up like here, uh, any solution, the limit of the application will be your, uh, your own imagination dining room here and then uh, we enter in this second bubble uh, we call the bubble room which is half opaque giving you some privacy so you can just have one bubble if you want or you can have a second bubble attached to it as we see here Absolutely. The idea is if you purchase the first bubble with a second opening, you can close this opening or with a white wool or with a crystal wool and keep the solution next year or with one of your friends or child to link to any other bubble. Whatever will be the size of the bubble and the shape of the junction element, the concept is that you can modulate and link any kind of uh, product together. And as you said, you can put any kind of furniture, furnishings Absolutely. in the bubble and create your own space. Absolutely. You, you, we supply from now recently a new line of inflatable, very sturdy furniture. You will find a design on uh, casabubble.com as well. And uh, here it's the it's, second room. It's quite spacious. It is like a 
I'm gonna be sitting down here, it's like a living room. Absolutely, this is a very comfortable living room. And here, uh, in the junction uh, between the different rooms, or you can let the space open, or you can close as well with a medium, uh, I mean, interconnection wall with a door to give some more privacy to the bedroom and to the bathroom. So and you said bathroom, little, you can put a bathroom in here? Absolutely, this little 9 feet bubble is in fact uh, sometimes used as, as the children's bedroom but most of the time it's used as the bathroom. So we manufacture at Casa Bubble some dry toilets, composting oh yes, toilets. Compost, compost, very nice, absolutely, yeah, yeah. smart. If you set up the bubble in your backyard, you can just bring a water hose and have a little totem with an instant water heater working with gas cartridge and have your uh, hot water in few seconds and uh, the bathroom as well so you are fully independent. So let me drive you now. And you can the... make any type of attachment you'd like. Absolutely. The small room can go anywhere. Absolutely. You can uh, put a vestibule between two bubbles. You can uh, have this triangle, a new little uh, junction element, and connect the bubble directly. It's fully limitless. And this, this is the last uh, bubble drop, like we, we, we called it, because the first time we made it, it was like in the shape of a dew drop on the leaf in the morning. So this one gives you the maximum of privacy. You have these little openings with the, the curtains you can shut down and you can oh. close this large window uh, open on the, on the garden. In, uh, in fact, uh, uh, on the backyard, you can close it with a white curtain. And however, even uh, in this bubble where you are fully protected, you can still have this uh, transparent rooftop to sleep under the stars and watch the sky during the day. This is the Casa Bubble solution. Wow. So, you, uh, who invented this? Well, Stéphane Dumas uh, invented the concept in, in, in France. And uh, we worked on the development. And uh, I'm taking care about a few destinations. Uh, we work in Australia, in Canada here. In the USA, we have distributors a bit worldwide, uh, in Europe and until uh, Asia, Japan, etc. And uh, things are going on. Okay. Is this your first time here at the uh, host of the show? Yes, the first time in Canada. We have been in uh, Montreal last year. We went uh, last winter in uh, uh, Calgary, mm -hmm. um, Vancouver as well, and we are now in Toronto. What are they saying here at the show? Excuse me? What are they saying here at the show? You know, <laughs> everywhere we are lucky because of course, it's like we, if we had reinvented the wheel. This concept at the human scale uh, keep the people in such comfortable solution, uh, easy accommodation, set up one bubble in 50 minutes, inflation included, and repack everything in like 15, 20 minutes. So this is the interest, the easiness of the portability of the concept. Let's talk about applications, Frederick. This would be great, I can see, for the cottage. Cottage, you know, most of the people are setting the bubble in the backyard. A few of them are carrying the bubble, like for uh, uh, luxury trekking companies. Every day is a new destination, new place to set up the bubble. Most of the application will be a guest bedroom, living room, dining room, relaxing TV room. Uh, there kids, is no kids' playroom. Kids Absolutely. having a party, and you no, don't want them in your place. No danger outside. To have a problem if you fall against the wall. It's as cool and comfortable as you oh. could imagine. So the kids could have a lot of fun here. Absolutely. Definitely a lot of space and um, such much comfort when you use the bubble in a real outdoor situation. Let's talk about the weather. Is this good for all seasons? Absolutely. In fact, the, the low temperature or a snow uh, episode won't be a problem for the material itself. But in my mind, the idea is to keep the bubble up as long as you will enjoy yourself to be outside. While the, the, the forecast uh, predict uh, that snow and horrible weather and very low temperature, just repack because you will not enjoy yourself to be in your, in your garden. So repack, store safe the bubble, and you won't have even to worry about any possible damage due to the winter. And early spring, even if it's, uh, uh, I mean, windy, freezy, uh, breezy, raining, snowing, just keep the bubble up and you will open largely the window of the, the utility 
utility uh, and application of the bubble and you will enjoy the daylight and uh, spend uh, a long time in a very easy uh, space to warm or to refresh. So it's mainly a, a spring or summer uh, application? Solution, yes. Solution, yeah. Except here in Canada, every everyone is talking about a two and a half uh, month uh, summer. With the bubble solution, you will open, I will say, your summer, I quote, from early March to late September, as long as the, 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 the weather will be, uh, it won't snow too much, uh, you will be happy in your bubble and enjoying the day, watching the TV outside. Even if it's gray, when you are in a crystal dome like this crystal bubble, you really realize how much light you can take, which is good for the, for the moral, for the soul, for the mind, for the body. Okay. Um, for more information, your website is... Yes, so you can find us, uh, the company is based uh, in California and in France, and you can contact us at uh, info at casabubble.com or have a look to the website www.casabubble.com C-A-S-A-B-U-B-B-L-E.com Great. Ciao, thank you.